Today on the channel, we're back at with another round of WWE Superstars unboxings, this time with the Series 11 Regular Edition Razor Ramon and Series 12 2 and 1 Cactus Jack. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another WWE Superstars unboxing and review and today on the channel from Series 11 regular Razor Ramon Series 12 Cactus Jack but for all your WWE Superstar needs Walmart but for everything else under the sun hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and I had to go to Paul Mart for these two just because Walmart's around me just not stocking any of these new sets very, very frustrating line. We've beaten a dead horse uh, multiple times. The reasonings, all that kind of stuff on the channel. We're not going to do that here today. But what we will do is we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I am a member of the Double Up Club on the Superstars line. So I have doubles of everything in the collection. And I am still on the hunt, though, for the Chase version of Razor Ramon, the one with the long tights. Need to get two of those, one to unbox and, of course, one for my Min on Card collection. Hopefully find those sometime, some way. We'll see what ends up happening there. Uh, but very excited to get these ones here and only three in a set. So Razor, I put him with Cactus. I think it works out here. And this is a very fun line. It is frustrating, but it's a lot of people's favorite toy line going today. I don't know if it's my favorite toy line, but it's right up there. I, of course, loved He-Man back in the day. I love WWE, so mixing these two together... Pretty good day at the office, all things considered. But it'll be interesting how deep this line goes. Will we get it a full year next year with all the frustrations and everything else? And it feels like a little bit they're running out of talent. We know that's not totally true, but they've played a lot of hits with a lot of the big ones. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. Bring on more Ultimate Warriors, that's what I say. How about that? But we're going to dive into these here today, and I guess we'll start with Razor. We'll go Series 11. And I'm kicking around the idea we've never done it before. I want your opinion in the comments. It's up to you guys. You vote on it. Do we want to do a top 5 or top 10 WWE Superstars of 2024 list? The top 10 lists are coming very soon. Top 5 best ofs. I'd have to do the math how many Superstars were released this year. I think there was 10, uh, but maybe it's top 5. Do we do that this year? We've never done it before. We've done retro top 10s, of course, all the other toy line top tens. We've never done Superstar, so maybe it's worth doing. You guys sound off in the comments below. But there he is, old Razor, looking good, and I like that he looks different, but I can see some people saying, I want a more iconic Razor in the Superstars. Uh, not the case here, but we do get a very cool-looking Razor Scott Hall figure here. Superstars packaging, we know it, we love it, we want some more of it. Razor Ramon down here looking good. And then on the back, get that black and white back, old school style. There's the cross sell down below. We unboxed every single one of these on the channel, so check out those reviews if you did miss it. Series 11 for this Razor once again. It says, say hello to the bad guy, and then it says Razor's Edge, and you got old Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, doing one of these. Like a young Popeye, put him up, put him up. He's doing one of those on the back of the package. How about that? But let's get him out of the package. Let's see what all the Razor Ramon fuss is about. There's always fuss with Razor Ramon, we know that. See you later, goodbye. Bam! See you later, goodbye. Get the old scissors out. Gonna have to get those bad boys out here as we're locked down. We got the old parchment paper baggies bringing me back to the COVID days of Hasbro is what it reminds me of here. We got all those extra razor hands. Gotta have those extra hands for razor. See you later, goodbye. Plastic prison. There's old razor shining bright like a diamond. That's what he's doing. Shining bright right there. Gonna cut him out. Got all these twist ties. Of course, locked down like his life depends on it. Locked down at both feet and both hands. Oh, twist ties. When are we gonna when are we gonna really start getting serious about saving this environment? Let's really let's really think about it, huh? See you later, goodbye. Let's get rid of these twist ties. And it's all on you, Todd McFarlane from the couch. You gotta start it. It's up to you to be the trendsetter. Hopefully Todd goes after that maybe in 2025. But I think you said you were doubling down through 2026, so 
We'll see what happens there with Todd from the couch. Good friend of the channel, as we do know. Extra hands for Razor. You got the splayed out hands. You can give somebody the Razor's Edge. Ready to go with those. And then we got them patented hitchhiking hands here. Old Razor hitchhiking on the side of the road. Uh, saying, hey Chico, can you give me a lift? Uh, who knows? It's a slow roller, as we know as well. Uh, but there it is. You got the hands for Razor. Two fists of Razor Fury out of the package here. Uh, and then the head sculpt here, there is no doubt in my mind, you know who this is. It is Razor Ramon. Now, we did get Scott Hall in this line earlier. I just remember that. It just popped into my head. Uh, so it's a return friend here, which means we need a return Ultimate Warrior to the Superstars line. Let's get Warrior in the Superstars line. Hopefully that happens in the future. Uh, but it looks like Razor, you got that curl in the hair, the slick back black hair. All day long, you know who this is. Five o'clock shadow. Got that little coy smile on him as well. Playing all those Razor Ramon hits. And hits keep on playing. He's got those gold chains going on as well, looking very good. Got that teal colored vest over the top, says Razor Ramon in the back, looking very nice there. Razor on the trunks. Got all the razor blades on the back of the trunks as well. Down into the knee pads. Then we got baby blue boots here. The, the blues don't quite match between here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way or a mess up from the factory. Uh, but it is a different color blue than the teal everywhere else. So that does look a little bit strange if you ask me. He does got chest hair going on in Mattel. How many times do you want me to ask for it? When are we going to get some real fur chest hair? We need it as a variant. We want it as a chase. Let's do it. Let's do something different. We got so much of the same old, same old. Let's mix it up. Let's do something fresh. Let's go back and celebrate Jack's and other toy lines that gave us some real fur. Let's just do it on a chest hair one time. I don't care who you do it to. Let's get it done. But it does look uh, okay. It looks like somebody got a pencil and just did one of those things there. Now, Razor and Cactus are going to have the exact same articulation. Arms all the way around for us. Single jointed elbow, side to side. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. A little limited with that hair, of course. Waist articulation, those big old razor splits that we know. Leg goes up, single jointed knee, side to side, boot cut, ankles back for side to side. So all the usual superstars, He-Man articulation here. We do get that with one Razor Ramon. But this Razor looking really good. Can't wait to get the Chase Edition. Uh, who knows when that day will be, but I'll keep hunting. I'll keep hunting. Uh, but Razor looking very, very nice right here. I am here for all the Razor Ramones. They want to give us, of course. So Razor looking good. But now we're turning to the main event as far as I'm concerned. Love me some Mick Foley going all the way back to the GWF days. Loved Cactus Jack Manson. Then I remember him showing up at WCW. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Cactus Jack. And then like a lot of people, myself in high school, uh, being a tape trader, getting all those VCR tapes from Japan of the deathmatch tournaments with my boy Terry Funk. Playing so many hits over the years was Mick Foley. Then, of course, going to ECW, WWE, all that, where his career really took off, as we do know. And then never forget that famous dinner of Mick Foley, Terry Funk, Kyle Peterson, the Three Musketeers, just enjoying a Joey Doey's pizza. Oh, we'll never forget it. The three of us just shooting the breeze, and I was just such in awe of two of my all-time favorites just getting to eat dinner with them. So a special moment I will never forget in my life, that is for sure. But here it is, old Cactus here, and I love that it's a two-in-one. Underneath this shirt, you do get the traditional Cactus shirt there, but you get the old-school Cactus Jack shirt there. I absolutely love that. Two-in-one, so I had to buy two of these. You know how we do that. Superstars packaging, Glamour Shot, all that. Similar to Razor, we talked about Cactus Jack right here. Uh, of course, on the back, Series 12 for this one. Remember, Razor Series 11. Series 12 down below. We got the Heart Foundation as well. Check out that review to come on the channel. Of course, Jim and Brett, we're going to unbox those guys together. That just makes sense for me. Jibber Jabber, UPCs at the bottom. Does say bang bang right there. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. I remember hearing that as a kid, just thinking that was the coolest thing ever. Truth or Consequences, it was a real place. I remember I was like probably in third or fourth grade when I first ever heard that. I was like, how cool is that? I remember wanting to look it up and finding it was real. Very, very cool. Hardcore legend, it also says. And there's no denying that fact. He is a hardcore legend. And for me, he's kind of taken the Terry Funk role in uh, modern, uh, see you later, goodbye, in the world, I guess. Since Terry Funk, unfortunately, has passed away. Uh, kind of the last remnant of my childhood extreme wrestling, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I was an ECW guy, but forefathers of extreme for me and what uh introduced me into extreme wrestling i guess i don't know whatever you want to say you know what i mean you know it's a long way to get there but we're gonna get there sooner or rather than later see you later goodbye plastic prison for old cactus looking very very nice i am here for that 
I have seen the front of his shirt here that's been pilled up kind of in the package. That sucks for Mint on Card Collectors. I did pick up three of these, and one of them was that way. Uh, of course, I was going to unbox that one. I couldn't have that in my collection, Mint on Card. That would drive me absolutely crazy. Uh, but Cactus Jack, we're slowly getting him out of the package, trying not to cut my fingers off along the way. You know, I need these fingers. I, I have a day job, folks, and my wife really loves my fingers, too, so I got to make sure I don't lose one of those for her. So we'll see what happens, though. You never know. No promises. No promises. There it is. See you later. Oh, my gosh. Went sideways, went south. That's the way it goes from time to time. Twist ties off to the side. Let's dive into these hands and cactus coming with a lot of hands. You got those bang, bang hands. You've got to use those on the one wearing this shirt. You just got to do that. So we do get that. We do get the open hands here, if that is your thing. One of them's got tape on it, of course. And then we got two fists of Cactus Jack Fury. You know we're here for that as well. But now we're diving into Cactus Jack himself. Man, oh man, it looks like Cactus Jack. It looks like McFoley. Got that old school hairdo, kind of that poodle top up there is what always reminding me of. Then, of course, the long hair going on, looking very cool. Got the old school, like, uh, I don't know, it's almost like a Desperado or something, like a, a gangster from Mexico or something shirt there with kind of the frill on the top. Just looking very cool, very old school Cactus Jack for sure. I uh, absolutely do love that, but I should dive back into the face on Cactus, too. You're missing the two front teeth. Always cool to see. Got the big beard. Got the screaming, yelling face. I mean, this is Cactus Jack to a T right here. He does come out of the package with the traditional He-Man thumbs up hands. Of course, you're hitchhiking through truth or consequences in New Mexico. You never know what you might find. Maybe an alien along the way. You never know what you might see down there in Mexico. Head by Roswell. We know how it goes. We know how it goes. Uh, but looking good, soft shirt here. Of course, Velcro in the back looking nice. Cactus on the side of the pants, black tights. You got those crazy kind of leopard cheetah, whatever it is, leopard cheetah boots down here looking very on brand for Cactus Jack as well. Black knee pads looking very nice. Articulation can be identical to Razor. We don't need to walk through that again. But man, a cool looking figure here of one of my all-time favorites in the Superstars line, Series 12. Made in China, not Vietnam for this one, so take note of that as well. He also fits on a ringside collectible stand. But of course, you remove this shirt, and what do you get if you remove that shirt? You get old Cactus right here with the painted on shirt. Uh, very, very cool. It is a two-in-one, and for somebody like me, I got to get two of these all day long, and really three, because I got one for a mid-on-card collection as well. But so fun and such a genius move by Mattel. Very cool. Making people get multiples of these figures, of course, if they can find them. We know how that goes with the Superstars line. Uh, but I really love it when they give us these two-in-one figures like this. I just think it is a really cool idea, a really fun, neat idea. I just wish this line was a lot easier to collect for myself and everybody watching this video here, as it is very frustrating and hands down the most frustrating toy line to collect in 2024. And sounds like maybe beyond. So we'll see what happens with that as we get into the new here here but cactus jack so fun and razor equally as fun bring on the chase hopefully i can track down two of those in the future we'll see what happens there but there it is cactus jack razor ramon what are your guys' thoughts pickups for you passes long games no games not so sure games let me know in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. Got even more content for you, including early access to the videos from both YouTube channels over on Patreon. Patreon, best way to support this channel and all the content it does bring. You definitely get your money's worth over there, that is for sure. I don't think anybody puts up as much content on Patreon as I do. Check it out. You can even join for free if you want to. ProSTs.com, search Kyle Peterson. Of course, my book, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstar Series, available on Amazon, Barnes Noble, and now released on Kindle check it out and then of course social media new i'm on tiktok hit the old link in the description below uh, of course sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on instagram and on threads so for cactus jack razor ramon wwe superstars i'm kyle see you guys all real soon bye bang